all right my people welcome back on to this channel well this is another strong one reaching us it's a breaking news any coup in nigeria will lead to armed resistance in southwest all right this has been said by the yoruba coalition all right my people the news in details Onto this, any military coup in Nigeria will lead to organized armed resistance in the southwest. Akpakbo, Udua, Koya, Yoruba Self Determination Coalition has said this. Well, the group said it has noticed the statement of some Nigerian leaders aimed at preparing the mood of the country for a military coup. Well, onto this, he made it clear, and I quote, We want to assure anyone contemplating a coup that there will be armed resistance to such a plot. In the first one month of such a coup, there will be shock and then confusion, but we want to assure such plotters that it will take less than one month before the Yoruba Self-Determination Group will organize armed resistance, not only to confront the plotters, but to disorganize the country completely. Call Abimbola show me retired said in a statement issued after the group's meeting at ibadan on sunday night the group said the call for a coup by some politicians was expected intelligence analysis indicated that former president muhammadu buhari set several obstacles and landmines with the aim of creating chaos that would bring back the military after his exits the exact thing she did in 1983 and ibrahim babangida did in 1993 they are aware that given the balance of military infrastructure, military coup will always favor the Fulani North. Buhari created avenues to armed Fulani to invade Middle Belt and the Southern Forest. This is a Fulani agenda to take over the country. They created armed Fulani militia to checkmate Boko Haram in the scramble for Nigeria and then also for Fulani armed men to be better placed to overrun Nigeria completely. This was backed by draconian economic policies like the sudden removal of oil subsidy which he implemented before he handed over power and then the printing of naira note all aimed at plunging the post buhari yes into economic and then political turmoil and then anarchy that would justify military intervention the group said the plot is backed by mass kidnapping of children across the country to further fuel the conditions for military intervention Aokoya said the country is passing through blood, death, mystery, and then anguish, but that any coup at this time can only favor the caliphate, even though the plotters might use our sardanans as ringleader to delude the people. The military is currently controlled by the Fulani North, even though the chief of army staff is Yoruba. The commanding height, the structure and the superstructure, the distribution of arms and ordinance remain squid in favor of Fulani. This is why the idea of a coup is being floated, but we want to assure them that this time they will meet more than they bargained for. We are not only going to launch armed resistance, their business interests and the supporters will be attacked everywhere in Odudua territories from Lagos to Jeba, Mokwa, Lokoja and the Wari. There will be unprecedented attacks on their human and the material assets across Yoruba land and then across Nigeria. 
they will not be able to explain the terrains of drones that will bombard the military barracks and then their assets everywhere in the country we can assure them of protective and at the same defensive violence the group said according to the group former director ibrahim babangida's recent statement that coup is no longer possible in nigeria is a first flag aimed at raising the prospect of military intervention babangida said coup is no longer possible in nigeria but in Con concave intelligence analysis he is in fact bringing the debate about coup to national conscience of nigerians which is a very dangerous and then treacherous call the group said recent criticism by the sultan of sokoto and then some fulani leaders hiding under the ash economy of the country is nothing but a veiled attempt to instigate military coup under the pretense that they are worried about the economic situation when in reality they supported all the ruinous and then destructive mass killings and then economic genocide of buhari regime the group said the voracious theft of public funds under buhari was an attempt to use the stolen funds to create confusion and then sponsor anarchy in thai post buhari yes these Fulani leaders have no conscience. They are driven by base instinct and then primitive accumulation of power. They cannot conceive power slip out of their hands for a second. They are jittery of state police and then restructuring, yet they fail to realize that the reality of Nigerians' breakup is inevitable, mainly due to the historic injustice they have imposed on Nigerians since 1960 to thanks to British, British manipulation to ensure Nigeria remains in the ends of the most backward and then reactionary segment of nigeria ethnic configuration the group said its position has nothing to do with president bola ahmed Tinumbu, who is described as someone who already constantly treats the yoruba with disdain contempt and then views yoruba self-determination with cruel hatred our position has nothing to do with Tinumbu, who is a lawyer agent of the Nigerian political age money. Our position is driven by the knowledge that any military coup at this time will undermine free speech, destroy the gains of the past year's stifle self-determination course, and then again, and over the political economy of Nigeria to the ends of Fulani military class whose focus would be how to use Nigerian resources to further and strange Fulani complete domination of Nigeria and then a declaration of war on the rest of Nigerian ethnic groups using state structure and their resources to further this age-long dream of jihad invasion of Yoruba forest and then territories all right and then this is exactly what is actually reaching us right now this is so strong hmm any coup in nigeria will lead to armed resistance in southwest this had been made clear by the yoruba coalition all right and then right now a lot of things are actually going on we understand what is actually going on in the country well uh, hmm, according to israel emmanuel this one made it clear that hmm luko yorubas let me remind you one thing your brother forgot 
when Umaru enter power, he brought down fuel to 50 naira. Who and over to him was Obasanjo. Now Buhari left power to your brother Yoruba man. He escalated the fuel to 600 naira and above. Bring more hardship to common man. I thought Yoruba are more educated, but I now see houses are better to be in power instead of Yoruba. Look, if there is any military coup in this nation, I will be very happy. All right, this has been made clear by Israel Emmanuel. Well, Prince Sam Bilon made it clear that Fulani ter terrorist, mm, terror terrorists, okay, uh on ground to make sure their plans go through <laughs> that's so serious well in fact we want a new nation hmm, comprising of middle belt with southern cardinals south south southwest and then southeast with the capital city in abuja period enough is enough with northern atrocities with their religion terror terrorism bed veiling growth and then development since independence all right and then i think a lot has actually been said well hmm, my brother my sister this is so strong what exactly is going on yes everybody had actually made it clear in different opinion that okay fine if nigeria want to be better i think everybody needs to do his own part most especially starting from your own brother who is the president of the country now the hardship had been no tougher than the way it was before it got there so what example is he trying to lay and then exactly the hardship has actually been too much which can make anybody to do and undo also baba god now your hand with the on to this meanwhile let me have your own take on this one and then remember to subscribe for more update if you're just joining us on this channel for the first time all right thanks and god bless